Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome to Blender for Noobs, and welcome back to the Omicron 3 Project, our spaceship tutorial. And in part five here, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be uh, looking at the thrusters a little bit close, more closely and making sure the topology looks okay. So what I'm going to do to start off with, of course, is do a file, save as, as I always do, and I'm going to make a version five, save as blend file. And I'm going to do an Alt H to unhide everything so that we can see our thrusters. And once I have those selected, do a Shift H and hide everything but the thrusters. We want to concentrate on our thrusters. So, so um, maybe also what I will do, let's see, tab into edit mode and do Alt 3 so I can see kind of what we what we got here okay and then a one front view I didn't really uh, define too much here so I didn't want to go overboard I wanted to be able to to change them around as needed uh, I'm not sure what's going on here though what's happening uh, I am missing some geometry there. That is not good. That is why it looks pushed in. So basically, I need some geometry that is connecting these points right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Control R. Throw an edge loop in there. And... Actually, there might be an easier way. Hmm. I don't hardly ever use the knife tool, but let me see if it'll work in this case. Doing a K and I'm just cutting right there. Hit enter. Oh yeah, that worked nicely. Okay, that's a lot better what I was thinking of doing. I was going to do an edge loop and then so, you know, put it in there and, and get rid of all the excess faces and all that, but yeah. That works fine, so just do a K, use the knife tool here, just draw it across there, hit enter, and there is our edge that we needed. Need another one right here. I use the knife tool sometimes, but I would have to say pretty rarely. What I'm going to do, uh, tab into object mode and go to modifiers, I am going to I'm going to basically turn off the mirror here because it's kind of getting in my way of seeing things when I uh, scroll around here. So, K, and draw across there. They have really improved the knife tool. Uh, it's a lot better than what it used to be. Okay, so now I should be able to select where it's like this. S, X, kind of bring them out a little bit. See if I can do both of these at once. S, X, pull those out. Add these. S, X. And even if your model is, you know, your, your model is slightly different or or it's already okay, then at least you'll kind of see what I'm doing. And if you run across something that you have to fix like that, then you'll know how to do it. Okay. So go to one front view. And really, uh, the easiest thing to do here, I think, is I'm going to B box select all these verts alongside here. And remember how I flattened out the face on the body of the ship? I'm going to do the same thing with these verts. And remember, think of the flat surface. Uh, what is perpendicular to that? In this case, it's the X. So I'm going to do it S, X, 0. Scale along the, the X on uh, 0, and that evens them all out, which is quite nice. Same thing here. Oops, got some extra ones there. And I don't want these. Um, S, X, 0. Enter. 
straighten all those out. And we could even probably do a three side view. Um, wonder if I want to straighten out along this horizontal here. So what's perpendicular to that? You want it, if you want it all straight on this plane, perpendicular is a Z, so S, Z, zero, enter. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Much cleaner, much nicer. So grab the, oops, a habit of doing box select on both of them. Okay, S, Z, zero. Very nice. So now if we look at our solid view, looks pretty good. Um, something that does not look good to me is the way that the front looks. It's supposed to be kind of moved inward like this. And it's kind of, um, well, we can pretty much get away with the same thing on this edge loop. I can do an SC0, straighten that out. And then all I need to do is bring it down a little bit. Let's see, Alt 3, Z. So yeah, it's about right there on the back. And then on the front, all I need to do is just take a few of these and move those forward. And yeah, maybe not this one. Just kind of straighten these up a little bit. So they're not going every which way. Okay, and then on the, let's see, on this top one, can't exactly straighten them out, but I can to a certain extent. Actually, I can do it along the uh, X, so Alt select those, S, X, zero. Oop, no, I can't. <laughs> I can do it like I did the bottom, just do, um, yeah, as long as I select the right ones. Okay, SX0. Kind of straighten those out. And looking at the one view, I can kind of pull that in to where it's supposed to be. Just like that. All these verts, pull those in. Pull that out a little bit. Just trying to get it, get that straight is all I'm doing here. And I, I guess I almost should mirror this first before, <laughs> before I mirror the whole thing just so that I don't have to try to get each side exactly right, but that's okay. SX0. Let's pull those in. Same thing with these. SX0, enter. One front view, pull those in. And let's go ahead and grab, oops, B box select these. Ah, oh, keep moving that cursor there. It's driving me nuts. Shift S, cursor to center. Okay. And this doesn't look right here. Pull this out a little bit. And still there's something right here that's not right. SX0. Did that screw up anything? Nope.
definitely should mirror this. But anyway, so just kind of look at it. Um, do a, a select all. Look at the topology and, you know, make sure it looks okay to you. This one's not too bad. Um, we can always, you know, do little tweaks here and there. But, you know what, actually I need these to be further up, something like that, because what I'm going to do is, or what my plan is, is I'm going to have an open area here, and there's going to be a kind of um, some engine work in there that we're going to be able to see. The front of this is going to be open, it's going to be like an intake. The very back is going to be open as the uh, exit part of the thruster. So that's the idea anyway, so we'll see where we get with this. But Overall, I mean, if I do it Alt-3 and Z wireframe, uh, according to what I have here, it looks pretty good. Although, I have this area right here as being open. What I can do is, uh, we can actually mimic that. Just do a G and V box like this because I am in the absolute side view, or the left view in this case. I can do a G and move around, and it's really only moving in the Y in the Z. It will not move in the X because I'm in this view. Okay, and then I can take this. That's why I can get away with um, just doing a G move instead of pulling on my manipulator here, if that makes any sense. I'm probably not making any sense, but anyway, that's what I'm doing. I probably even shouldn't be doing this this way because it's probably uh, I'll probably end up screwing up my oops screwing up my topology so I don't necessarily need this to be cut out this way but I just wanted to see what it would look like if I can if I can get it to do this Let's say this can be GG moved over and bring that up there. Shouldn't have moved this here. Just move it back to that point. And this one right there. And let's see. How did I end up with this one line here, this one edge like that? Oh, okay. It goes around like that. Three. So yeah, that's not a very good idea right there. So let me take this back. I get into the weirdest situations when I'm doing um, tutorials because it's like I can't I can't uh, I can't think about it and, and talk at the same time unfortunately <laughs> but anyway these weird things happen and then you're like what the heck did I just do why am I doing that and then you go back and edit the video and try to put it together and you're like why were you even doing that you know they're gonna think you're an idiot but anyway that's the uh, perils of trying to make tutorials um, so, look at this. So that looks pretty crappy, but the nice thing is, oops, let me go and select both of these. What did I do? Yeah, I moved another one, didn't I? Yeah, that one. This one might be able to stay here. Ah, what am I doing? I'm screwing it up is what I am doing. There's just one there. Yeah, I may just have to kind of leave these a little bit for now. Oops.
And then I guess probably the easiest thing to do is just do a control R, add an edge loop, and another control R and add an edge loop there. And that way I can bring these up and move them into place and create my little area here that I was trying to create initially. Okay, so do I have it? Yes, I have it. Okay, so that was a way, um, a very <laughs> long drawn out way of looking at that. There's still something going on here. Did I pull those? I must have pulled those out of whack. Yeah, sure did. I told you I couldn't talk and do this at the same time. So that and that. One front view, SX. Oh man, did this too. Again, probably would have been a good idea to mirror this. I'm sure you don't want to uh, watch me sit here and tweak verts all day long. Okay, so anyway, hopefully it's pretty close. I can go back and smooth some of that up. But So that's our basic thruster that we're trying to get started with anyway. Do Alt-H. Oops. Go into object mode. Go ahead and turn the mirror back on. Do an Alt H, unhide everything, and we got our ship here. So that's all for the thrusters for now. What we're going to do in the next part of the tutorial, part six, is we are going to add the port window and add the uh, escape hatch and also add the uh, docking port on this. So I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial.